We are commemorating the Ministerial Corrections Week and this is our closing ceremony. So our National Commissioner, we cannot thank you enough for your vision and leadership. Seeing to it that we have a successful Corrections Week. It has been going on through the entire week across all the regions. And we want to thank each and every official across the entire operational centers, those who are here and those that are busy with the operations in our centers. Thank you very much, Real Level Hatlet. This prayer session is a prayer session that is officiated by the minister. It's the highest header of all the prayer sessions that we're having throughout South Africa in our correctional facilities in our community corrections offices, even at head office, uh, Minister, as we are here, they will be doing a prayer. The hour that have been identified is between 12 and 2 o'clock. We are a department of prayer. That's why even in the structure of the department, Minister, we have chaplains. We gather to pray for reading and understanding and to thank God for the blessings. It is important for us to pray for good cooperation between our men and women in brown and the offenders because it is only through that that we can be able to change their lives for the better. We are going to pray. We will be doing different prayers for the leadership of this country. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. To you be glory and honor now and forever. Was Pachegashi, Was Wuch Nabobang Abant, Naboba Pachirechen, Abant Fidel. Ola, these offenders, Yalla, that we come to see every day, Yalla. You brought them here, Yalla. You look after them, Yalla. Ola, you forgive them, Yalla. You guide them, Yalla. Ja, Master Barai, Selassie, and the first time for me. Deliver I night enemy, and you are the one who prepare I night table and Barai this last time. We are in a closing prayer ceremony. When we are praying, we worship and praise. John chapter 9, it reads as follows. Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And Jesus took the mud and placed it on this man's eyes and gave him an instruction and said, go wash at the pool of Siloam. And this young man went to the pool and washed himself. And when he came back, he came back seeing. And maybe I want to say, if Jesus could heal a man who was born blind, it means if I made some poor choices in life, I can run to him and ask him, Lord, I have messed up. Please help me. He will still save me because there is nothing impossible with God. Amen. 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 you initiated this week. You initiated this day of prayer. Yeah. Thank you very much. You may be seated. To Jesus Christ was a Christ that's a word enough. I was three Christ. Yeah. En die een moordenaar is gered op die kruis. So Jesus was crucified amongst criminals. To symbolize that Jesus can save criminals. And that we must admit. In your line of work, you encounter some of the most challenging aspects of society. You work within environments where brokenness, pain, and suffering are daily realities. Through prayer, we can find peace, courage, and hope as you navigate these complex and demanding responsibilities. 
and we have an obligation to ensure that our rehabilitation programs are of such nature that when the offenders go back into society, they must contribute to both South Africa and the people of South Africa. I want to thank you and may you all be blessed as you continue in this important and challenging work. I thank you. We are going to humbly request our Honorable Minister with this balance to say, us as the officials in the Department of Correctional Services, we commit to rehabilitate and reintegrate those in our care.